exciting things right here. So I tell you, we better get set to go because we have a brand new treasure chest too. So I'm just going to get on my ding dong dandy bike with my funny little sound right over here and ready to go. We'll be back in one minute from now. Clanky? Yes, Professor? Can, can you hear me? I can hear you, Professor. Shall, yeah. Shall we play that threat on Mr. Bozo now? <laughs> oh, yeah. yes. <laughs> yeah. You know, I got here my troubleshooter computer. And this little button here, this bitsy putsy button, <laughs> that is the tickle button. And when I press this tickle button, <laughs> then he's being tickled and he can do nothing else. Shall what we do it? That's a wonderful idea. Yeah. Hey, Professor, let's go over there so he won't see us. <laughs> let's go and hide. Yeah. Okay, Clanky, come on. You know, I was just thinking while I was outside, I had to take care of something. Oh, hi. I was on the other side of the circuit, and I just thought of something. You know how Clank, the Tin Can Man, is always playing those pranks, those little tricks and funny things on Bozo? Well, I got an idea. I thought of an idea I can play on him. Do you know what? He has a special weakness. That's right. I found if you're... Press a certain button on Clank, oh, all things go kaplooey. And I thought for a change today, instead of Clank playing a trick on Bozo, I'll play a, a trick on him. But don't tell anybody. Can you keep it a secret? Now, don't tell him when he comes on, all right? Let's keep it a nice secret between us, because I thought today I'll play a trick on this. Oh, hi, Clank. How are you? Oh, just wonderful, Bozo. <laughs> Boy, I, I, I tell you, it, it's nice. And how's everything today? Oh, just fine, Bozo. Is, is everything good? What's going on here? For a minute, I had no control of my arms. Everything sort of went up and down. Something strange. Wait a minute. I can't move my hands or anything. Um, did you see it? What's going on? Clank, I... What's right here? I'm standing here and all of a sudden... Wait a minute. I can't seem to move my hands and everything. Clank, what are you doing? Um, you want to know? You want to know? Wait, wait. Really good. Bro, that's Sir Tweety Pooper. I didn't even see you. What are you doing here? Wait, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I, I get an idea here. An idea is striking me. Do you have something behind your back? No, uh, no, Mr. Bozo, I have nothing behind. Does he have my you back? Have my, I just saw you put something down. Come on, you must have something. I, What's that right over there behind your back? Oh, that is just a little troubleshooter computer. Well, what in the world is that? Is that the thing that's been making Bozo go up and down? And Well, that's the silly thing. There's only one thing I wanted to do. Excuse me, Clank, come here. You know, I, Clank's always playing tricks on Bozo, so I thought today, what I do, I just wanted to press a certain button because then he, everything goes kaplooey. Woo -hoo -hoo! That's good. Yeah, that's, all I <laughs> and that's all I was going to do. You see, see this button right here. <laughs> You're probably wondering whether Bozo grew some extra feet or not, but as you can see, that's just an extra pair of Bozo shoes. And in that last adventure with Clank and the professor, I started the button, but I didn't know how to turn it off. But as you see, everything got all turned off all right. And boy, that was a close shave for Bozo. Well, these shoes remind me of a game we love to play here at the Bozo TV Circus. And first off, I'd like to have you meet my players. So come on in and say hi to everyone, will you, just for a second? Hi. 
Oh, it's nice meeting you. You must be a uh, Jeff. Oh, you look terrific, Jack, in those wonderful bozo hats. Hi, Joy. Howie, what a nice bozo smile. I love to see that. Oh, Millie. Hi, Larry. How you doing? Let me just check one thing. I don't... Bozo has a squeak. I guess you got one, too. You know how we do our special bozo shoe race. Come on back here with bozo, and I'll show you how we do it. Lots of times, people say, I'd like to be in bozo shoes. So you know what we do? We put them in bozo shoes, and we have a race where I run around here. I'll put the shoes on in a minute. I go like here, and everybody in the whole ring and at home counts to see how long it takes you to go all around the ring and all the way back. Are you a pretty fast runner? Well, we'll find out right now. Ladies before gentlemen, so Joy, we'll put the shoes on you first. If you'll put your shoe, uh, your shoe in this shoe, in your shoe, 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 we'll be all set. That looks lovely on you. This is the latest style I want you to know. All right, can you get it in? Good. When I say go fast around the ring, get your hat back on and ready, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good, good for you. All right, hop out of the shoes. Oh, okay, wait back here for a minute, Joey, and let's find out how you do, Jeff. Let me try on this pair of shoes on you, okay? Here they go, one, two, three. And you put this right in. Hey, these look nice. How'd you like to always have a pair of shoes like this to go around in? Can you get them in? All righty, ready. When I say go right around the ring one more time, here we go. One, two. Hey, okay, okay. That's pretty good, Jeff. Okay, we got one more pal to go through. It's up to you, Larry, if you can break the record of 10 so quickly. Into Bozo's shoes, we put your feet, and those feet are gonna take you to fly right around the ring. The other shoe, all righty, right in. Can you do it? You have to do it in faster than 10. Ready, here we go for the final time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, oh, Nelly. Oh, I tell you, Larry, you're, do you always run that fast? You're a pretty fast runner. What do we got from a pal, Mr. Ringmaster? A full box of delicious Bozo Pop. doodly doo, goodly good. Hold on to that, doubly good. And we also have from other pals some beautiful Bozo lunch boxes for you, Joy, and for you too, Jeff, all for you. Thank you very much. You can take your seat right over there and keep the shoes for a while. I think you'll enjoy trying to walk with them. Oh, I tell you, it's kind of fun playing all these special games here in the boat. Wait a minute. What's going on, Mr. Ringmaster? Wait a minute. That sounds like clank dance music. Something strange is happening here. I better go find what it's about. I better go right now and find out what it's all about. Well, I finally found out what that strange music was here in the circus. It came from the bug box. You know where we keep our, our flea circus here at the Bozo Circus. Have you ever seen a flea circus? <laughs> that reminds me of a story where one time somebody stole a Bozo's flea circus and I had to hire a super snooper to, to find out if he could find the flea circus. Have, have you ever seen the fleas in our little bug boxes where we keep them? Hey, sounds like they're having a little party. Let's look inside and see what they do. Oh, they're living it up, look. Oh, Billy. Oh. Snipper, here, boy. Uh-oh, Bozo's got a problem. I've been looking all over for you. We're in trouble, Sniffer. Now hear this. Thief steals fleas and fleas. Flea orchestra stolen from circus. And here's a picture of the thief. Take it on the lamb, Sam. He looks like a real no good nick. Now, Sniffer boy, we got to get those fleas from that filching flea filter. I better take my fortified dog bone with the formula XYZ3 and become Super Sniffer. <laughs> I'm now Super Sniffer, the super duper troubleshooter. I am the ding dong dandiest doggone dog in the whole dog world. In other words, I'm sharp. Let's go, boy. We gotta capture Take It on the Lamb Sam. Come in, Bozo. <laughs> I'm not Take It on the Lamb Sam for nothing. I got it made with these musical fleas I borrowed from the circus. 
Come on, loot. Make with the toot. Wait till they hear you's in London and Paris. What's up, Pop? I'm Super Sniffer, Super Duper Troubleshooter, looking for on the land slam. One small with feeling. I'm Super Sniffer, Super Duper Troubleshooter, looking for on the land slam. Oh, that's what I thought you said. What a memory. I'll book you into the act, Matt. <laughs> Thank you for the opportunity, sir. But as I said, I'm on the trail of a flea snatcher. Flea snatcher? You just come to the right guy, old private eye side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take a sniff of those bricks, just for kicks. If you say so, sir. <laughs> You're real helpful, sir. There he is, up on the power tower. I don't see him, but if you say so, sir. Do you have any more helpful hints, sir? Yeah, dog. Try the log. I hope I can repay you for your kindness. Uh-oh. Which way now? Ellie Elementary, my dear Sniffer. Straight down, clown. You know something? I think I've been taken by Take It On The Land, Sam. And furthermore, I've had enough. And enough is too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> With that nosy boots out of the way, we're off to gay Paris. Fame, fortune, and social security. <laughs> Charge! Too many gazooks. It's taking on the lamb, Sam. Hold the... One side, funny face. Anybody get the number of that truck? Fear not. I, Super Sniffer, will apprehend that free filter. Take five, boys, whilst I catch me second wind. <laughs> it just shows to go, yeah. How come the bad guys never win? <laughs> Good work, Sniffer. You caught our rootin' tootin' musical fleas. Do your stuff, Sniffer. Are you ready, boy? With a nine and a ten and a big fat hen. Because, oh, we always have fun when we, we watch more special Bozo Adventures. It's nice to relive them all again. And you know what we have for you? A brand new exciting bonus game. That's right. Yesterday we had our big winner under the Bozo Big Top. And we're going to have our brand new Bozo Treasure Chest bonus game in just one minute. So don't you go away. <laughs> Here we go again in the Bozo Big Top for another try at our Bozo Treasure Chest game. Bring in the treasure chest. Mr. Ringmaster! Wowee, Kazawi, a treasure chest of toys waiting for some lucky boy or girl. Remember, yesterday we had our big winner, and today a brand new treasure chest stunt for someone to try. Where's Butch, first of all? To... Oh, there you are, Butch. What I want you to do is close your eyes real tight and pick out one of the numbers from our hat, and let's see who's going to get a try at our Bozo treasure chest game today. The number is... Number seven. Lucky number seven. That girl in the back. Hi, Jane. Come on down as fast as you can. Wowee. Well, it's nice seeing you, Jane. How old are you? Nine years old. Nine years old and a squeaky nose to boot. All right. Bring in our special rings and our hoop, and I'll tell you how we do our bonus game. We have two big rings and one big bouncy bozo balloon, Jane. The object is very simple. What you have to do is to get the balloon either through that hoop or the big hoop, either one, and you have to get it through just once. Now, you hold on the balloon, stand at our starting mark, right at the edge of the ring. Now, this is how the idea goes. 
Now, once you throw the balloon, you have to go after it, and you only have 30 seconds, so good luck to you. I'm going to give it a little speed, otherwise it'll be a little easy for you. So, ready, Jane? On your mark, get set, go! Okay, now try and get it. All right, go get it quickly now. Go get it and get it. Give it back to her. Oh, here it is, Jane. All right, come on now. Get back to your mark as fast as you can. And just take good aim and now. Oh, or right, try it again now. Try either one of the hoops. Oh, oh, Lily. Oh, oh there it is. Oh, oh, go get it quickly now. Quickly. All right. Come on, you have a little, only a, a couple more seconds. One more try. Oh, Jane, almost, almost swift. Even though, even though you didn't get the treasure chest of toys, I think you're going to be happy with what I have for you. Mr. Ringmaster, a beautiful Scrabble game for you, Jane, that for juniors, I think you'll enjoy. Well, Mr. Ringmaster, we better add another toy to the treasure chest because when nobody gets our bonus game stunt, we keep piling toy after toy into the treasure chest. And into the treasure chest goes an Okinawa gun that I know is going to make some boy pretty happy. We'll add that to our Bozo talking trike and, a, and our Hassock and our Cinderella dolls and everything right in the treasure chest. And tomorrow, we'll have another try at our giant treasure chest game. What's that? What's going on there? What's that? Wait a minute, that's my pal Coco the Clown. Yeah, he's a famous juggling clown, and every time he visits near our Bozo Big Top, he stops by to visit with us. And he's going to show you some ding-dong dandy tricks in a little while. Oh, I hope you'll be around for that. I'm so excited because this is the moment we've all been waiting for, to have you meet our wonderful pal of mine, direct from visiting the circus all over the world. Here he is to do some fancy juggling, Coco the Clown! <laughs> a little harder now, I think. Try one more. One more, one more. Should I have him try one more and see if he can do it? Okay, one more. Let's try one more and see if he can do it, okay? Should I give him one more? All right. Still one more. <laughs> I just played a little trick on you there. Can he do it? Can he do it? Can he do it without dropping now. Let's see. Hey! Wonderful! How about a hand? Coco Magnifico! You're terrific! Boy, that's good. Thank you, Coco. Boy, you can come visit us here at our Mojo Big Top anytime. Boy, it really is. Golly, Jiminy. Now, see the way he does the juggle. Remember the times I used to do juggling. He will be a good idea. Mr. Ringmaster, hand me some of my juggling pins. Oh, see, doing juggling like he did with the boxes is easy as long as you have the rhythm and you keep your eye on what you're doing. See, the thing is, you got to get a rhythm going. You go, whoa. Two, three, four, and then you just throw them up like that fast, and then they come and... Oh, Nelly! What happened? Who turned out the lights, Miss? That time once again to bring on my dancing tin can man. Boys and girls, here's Clank! <laughs> Kazawi Clank, so many of the pals love to dance with you here at the circus and at home, too. Have you got your dancing shoes on? I have them on, Bozo. Right. Mr. Music Meister, sir, would you do me a favor and strike up the band? <laughs> Oh, 
the question is like a chinkari, chinkari. While my pals are dancing with Clank and Coco the Clown, this is your circus pal, Bozo, reminding you that uh, we'll be back again next time. And until then, I hope you'll all be good boys and girls. And remember what your pal, Bozo, always says, always keep twisting, I mean laughing. Oh!